Hi, welcome to Biostock. Sereno Scientific has just reported data from a patient case study in the ongoing phase two trial with CS1 in pulmonary arterial hypertension. Here to tell us more about the data is CEO Sten R. Sorensen. Welcome, Sten. Thank you. Well, Sten, I'd like to begin, first of all, with uh, what is CS1 exactly, uh, just as a background to this uh, study. Well, um, Sereno is pioneering epigenetic modulation in cardiovascular disease, so drugs that have that capacity and mode of action. And CS1 has an active substance that is an epigenetic modulator, uh, VPA. And we are pursuing CS1 in uh, the pulmonary arterial hypertension, a rare disease. And we are now in phase two and expect to conclude that study by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and now you've reported this, this data from one patient, the, the first patient to complete the study. Uh, tell us briefly what the data tells you. The actual patient case study was performed and initiated by the investigator itself because uh, the investigator saw health improvement in this patient that uh, was remarkable. Uh, so uh, approached the steering committee of the trial and uh, with a request to do an evaluation of the patient's data. And this was done specifically in relation to uh, the cutting edge technology that we have in this study and that is implanted in each patient, the CardioMEMS system that in a collaboration with Abbott mm-hmm. is their technology and innovation. That technology is approved for heart failure use and used in about 30,000 patients mm-hmm. and uh, actually was uh, reported in Lancet, a big trial from Monitor, that it just by implanting the technology there is an ability to improve survival mm-hmm. prognosis of the patients beyond the quality of life because you can measure the drugs and their efficacy in each individual patient continuously. So we have that technology in this trial and um, we did the patient evaluation and we have seen a number of improvements in, in this patient and um, the reason that we released the press release was that seeing the data, even though it's one patient only, we couldn't sit on the data. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's, 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 it's so good in this one patient that we felt that we had to release it under more regulations. Uh, so in, in, in slightly more detail, uh, what did you see that was happening with this patient that, uh, that makes you hopeful? Well, these patients have a life expectancy of seven and a half year, and this was a 51-year-old female that was um, included in the trial. She was a new, uh, World Health Organization, New Heart Association, Class 2, so worse than Class 1, if you will, in symptoms and quality of life, and um, uh, was randomized to the highest dose of three of CS1 that we have in this trial. and. Um, these patients uh, suffer from a high pulmonary arterial pressure mm-hmm. and that creates too much pressure for the right heart to pump against. And so eventually the heart uh, hypertrophies, growths, and the vessels also grow. And uh, eventually the patient gets heart failure. So what we saw in this trial uh, was a remarkable reduction uh, in this patient with the help of cardiomems of a um, from 33 millimeters Hg uh, to 23, so 30% reduction in pulmonary arterial pressure. That was accompanied by an increase of almost 20% in cardiac output. Um, and um, further, there was a reduction in total pulmonary resistance, which you'd like to achieve. Mm-hmm. And there, was, uh, uh, there were other uh, efficacy parameters, and I actually have a a note here to remember the positive data. So there was an improvement of stroke volume index, the right ventricular efficiency, there was a reduction in in right ventricular stroke work, and uh, the summary of this, uh, actually the patient then moved from uh, this classification, uh, functional class Mm two, to functional class one, so an improvement in the the picture of the patient's health. Mm Uh, and this was done over a 12-week period treatment with CS1 on top of uh, three different 
agents to help this patient, the uh, medications that sh- uh, she was on already. And how long of a time was she already on these medications? Yeah, she has. She was uh, had been diagnosed with um, pulmonary arterial uh, hypertension um, three years before, so she'd been she was stable on these three medications, but uh, was um, viewed to uh, as a patient that was eligible to be included in this trial, and. Physicians and patients are looking for more and better therapy. Mm-hmm. And, and this is an example of a patient that, through this uh, study, was improved in a variety of parameters and in uh, both pulmonary pressure but also cardiac function mm-hmm. and a functional class in only three months. Now, I need to say that this is only one patient it was the strongest dose of CS1 in this trial. Uh, but the data with CardioMEMS, which measures twice daily in these patients, is strong. So there is a number of measurement points uh, performed on these patients over uh, these 12 weeks. So that the, there was a positive effect with CS1, our drug, in this patient is pretty clear. And also the utility of CardioMEMS in this patient is pretty clear. And it um, provides uh, hope for these patients and for us, Sereno and Abbott, that this study will conclude positively. Mm -hmm. Uh, We have to see and analyze all the 30 patients, of course. Mm -hmm. But any results in this direction will be positive. And that brings me to uh, the next question, which is, what is the timeline here? When do you expect to have the full analysis of the study? As communicated earlier, and we haven't released uh, information about the progress since May. So uh, I have mentioned that we are on track. On track means that we need to conclude the inclusion of patients in the trial by end July, beginning of August in order to complete the trial by end year Mm -hmm. and be able to report uh, top-line data. We are on track, it's tight, and we're working very hard, and we have seen progress since May. And then finally, uh, of course, this uh, this data makes you hopeful. Uh, Are you worried that you will get your hopes up too high? Uh, well, that is a risk, and when we uh, had legal counsel and discussed, you know, very uh, thoroughly what we should do with the data, should we release it or not? And we felt that it's better to release it, so we are transparent, uh, but release it with this comment that it's only one patient, mm-hmm. and you cannot draw any strong conclusions from a trial uh, when you're studying a patient case. It's just an indication, and it's just for that patient. Mm-hmm. Um, but it provides indication and hope for us that there is something to our drug in these patients, and certainly that uh, cardiomems uh, has a utility, not only where it's approved in heart failure, but also in this kind of heart failure that develops in, in pulmonary arterial hypertension in, in, in these patients. So uh, we are hopeful that we will get good data and uh, if so, you know, we'll pursue our next trial. But let's wait until we have the, the information and the analysis. Sure. The data is d- definitely encouraging, and uh, we, we look forward to following uh, Sereno and, the, and this trial. And uh, we wish you all the best, and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Good to be here.